Summer is right around the corner and everyone who's been cooped up all winter is excited. Why not start enjoying the warmer weather now with something sweet and bold? Mr. T is a perfect choice. I'm Carl. And I'm Riley and welcome to Alchemix Bar where we will show you how to improve your home bartending skills. So on today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make an original cocktail I created called Mr. T. It is a variation of a mint julep, perfect for the summertime. I really had to push myself to make this cocktail because I don't like tea. And you might be asking, why did you make a cocktail called Mr. T if I don't like tea? That's a fair question, but I think it's important to experiment with flavors you don't like or aren't familiar with to expand your palate. Developing my palate outside my preferred ingredients made me better at flavor matching and cocktail building. If you push yourself out of your comfort zone, your customers will appreciate new things they might never have otherwise. I've tried many different types of tea. I've attempted to drink it with sugar or honey, with lemon, hot and cold, but I just don't enjoy tea. So I set out to see if I can make a cocktail with it. The Kentucky Derby was weeks away and nothing says Kentucky like bourbon and sweet tea. So I thought I would do a variation of a mint julep. As a starting place, I made traditional unsweetened black tea and cooled it down. I added a couple mint leaves and an ounce and a half of bourbon. My initial reaction was not good. It was watered down and unbalanced. The tea was lost in the bourbon and just didn't taste good. For my second attempt, I used the same number of tea bags in half the water. Using the same amount of sugar as I had water, I just made a tea simple syrup. The second version of the cocktail was a lot better, but the tea still got lost. From this version though, I knew this would be a good cocktail. It just needed a couple more tweaks. After a bit more of experimenting, I finally got the recipe for the tea syrup right. Once I had the tea syrup, I bumped up the amount of bourbon to two ounces. The tea was no longer lost in the mint and bourbon. All the ingredients were balanced and I was thrilled. Can we drink it now? A little impatient, aren't we? Yeah, I oh. want it. Okay. <laughs> Why is my mint all sad and limp? Because it's not in <laughs> season. Oh man. So. What are your thoughts? Even with the amount of bourbon, I love it. Yeah. It's it's sweet, but not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. And that tea is still there from front to back. And then that bourbon just kind of blends magically in everything. And it finishes with a tea flavor, which is wild because yeah. I expected the bourbon to be the finish every time, every mm -hmm. time. <laughs> I definitely think kind of like a mint julep, having a big mint spring in there gets your nose, gets kind of just, you're smelling mint the entire time also. Yes. While tasting it. I think this is uh, perfect for summertime. I mean, summer's coming up and it's a great easy cocktail to make three ingredients. So yeah, we have another uh, great summertime cocktail right over here, a mojito. That is my personal favorite uh, summertime cocktail. Easy to make, refreshing, and light. All right, let us know in the comments what your favorite cocktail is for summertime. All right, everyone. Appreciate you guys sticking around. Cheers. Cheers. Dink. Dink.